You're very welcome back to the programme. Now, birth mothers and men and women born at the Bespera Mother and Baby Home in Cork have been making their voices heard at the home to remember those who died there and to call for a public inquiry. Our southern editor, Pascal Sheehy, spoke to two women who were born in Bespera in 1962. He first spoke to Helen Murphy from Cork City, who was adopted from Bespera just a year after her birth. Um, my experience with, with Besbra, I suppose, as an adult began when I came back here to trace my birth mother. Um, I finally traced her in 2001. Unfortunately, when I found her, she had uh, passed away three weeks previously. My, the letter was, I sent her a letter via um, a solicitor in Cork and it was my birth sister, who at the time was 22, who opened the letter and read what I had written to my birth mother. It was very emotional for her, and um, she contacted me then through Besbra, and we met here for the first time in 2001. What can you tell us about your birth mother? I can say about my birth mother that um, very little because actually she had no siblings living when I discovered her. So anything I know about her really is from cousins of hers and from her daughter. Um, her daughter would say she was very distressed by having given up a baby. She never made a secret of the fact that she had had a baby here, but she always wanted to be reunited. And I suppose that is a very sad thing for me um, and for all of us, but at least the two sisters have been reunited and we are in, she's here today. I know you're involved with the Bespera mother and baby uh, group. Uh, do you know what happened to the babies who died in here? Well, Pascal, I suppose that's a big reason why we're here today, because what's come out, and a lot of us have known for a long time, but what's come out over the last uh, few weeks about ba uh, babies being found um, buried in places in Tuam, um, I suppose has really brought it into the public domain. And we know that a lot of babies died in Besborough. We don't know where they're buried, um, and it would be, it's a it's, it's really of great concern to us that we find out where these babies are buried, what happened to them. And also, I would like to say that as well as having an inquiry, I think it's really important that we have an independent public inquiry now into what happened in Besbra, not only for the dead babies, but for the mothers, many of whom are still alive, and also for the adopted people who are alive. And can I just be clear, is it just Bespera you want an inquiry into or um, do you think the inquiry should extend to all mother and baby homes around the country? I think it's absolutely, absolutely imperative that all mother and baby homes are included in any inquiry. I think it's, it has to be every mother and baby home. There are too many un unanswered questions. We need the answers for all the mother and baby homes. Um, I'm Carmel Hayes. I live in Kilkenny now, but I was born here in Vesper at Christmas 1962. And uh, I suppose I'm one of the lucky ones who lived having been born in Vesper, but many, many hundreds of others died here. And the purpose today is to remember those who died and to give them the recognition and dignity they didn't have in life. But also we do want to call for an independent investigation into the operation of Bespera and all the other mother and baby homes because um, that would establish the facts on how many died, why they died, where they are buried and why the death rate was so extremely high here for so many years. And we don't want sensational headlines. We don't want the unfair and premature apportioning of blame to anybody. We want to establish the facts, and we're very glad that the Sacred Heart Order that ran Bespera and the two other large mother and baby homes have said that they would welcome such an independent investigation. Because it's in everyone's interests, including the nuns, that the facts be established. Now, we do know that Bespera operated for around 70 years as a mother and baby home, and in one year alone, in the 1940s, 60 of the 106 babies, babies born here died. And yet, the very small graveyard here contains just a handful of markers to them. Um, our own research indicates that between the 1930s and 1950s, a minimum of 600 babies and children died here. Now, 
We need to find out official figures. Those babies and children have death certificates. The certificates are publicly available here in Cork in the registry office. It's a matter of going through the registers, identifying the names of those who died and the cause of death. That will give us official, public, publicly accepted figures on how many died here and why. And then we can go from there. But we do need to establish the facts first. And where do you think those babies who died here, who aren't buried in the graveyard and marked here, um, where, where do you think they are buried? We can only assume that they are buried in a mass grave here, that they wouldn't have been taken away by families, most of whom would have disowned the babies and children involved. We can only assume that they are here, but they are not marked in any way, with the exception of a small plaque on, on the wall of the graveyard here. So at least if we did go through the public records, we would have names. In the long term, we would like to see a proper memorial here, listing the names of all the many hundreds who died here. But first of all, we need to get those names and why they died and go from there. We need to know why there was such a high mortality rate here among the babies and children, higher than the other homes. We know that about Bespera. So that's what we want to happen next. And I think, I suppose it should be said as well that thousands of women gave birth here in Bespera. Up to, it's thought up to 10,000, certainly a minimum of 8,000. All of them, whether their babies died or whether they lived and were adopted, were lost to their mothers and the effects were the same and they suffered a tremendous loss and we think it's about time that their grief was properly acknowledged. Carmel Hayes there speaking to our southern editor Pascal Sheehy.